Hey everybody, welcome in. We're back on Split Mountain Ranch doing our breakfast challenge. And as you can see, we've got lots going on down in our little production zone. <laughs> uh, we've got our donut in Pancake Factory almost ready to go. Our diner's still empty. We haven't delivered anything yet, but we're close. We're super close. As you can see, our little factory here is producing like crazy. Now, this is actually pig food. The sugar is getting distributed automatically to those two, two facilities. But this is pig food. Now, we are taking our pig food over to Fear of Pigs. So, with this facility, the pig food's in a... Uh, whatchamacallit? It's, an, it's a byproduct. Which is great, because we have pigs to feed, because we need them for bacon. So, it all works out. The only thing that's a little bit hairy right now, or I'm confused about... Is this right here? So we're in the cows. We look at the cows. And let's look at our, let's bring up our menu. Look at the cows. Right now the cows. They have milk, but it feels like the milk isn't working. So I think if I empty it out. Let's empty it out. Let's put that. It's just not producing. Like 10,000 liters is a very exact amount. Um, I kind of set that in there just to see if it was working, but they're not producing. I don't know why. Either way, we do have to come over here and deliver some milk to each of these facilities so they can start their production of our donuts and pancakes. It's the last thing that each of them needs. Let's do 5,000 each. Whoa, that was super fast. <laughs> not going to do that. And then, of course, as you can see up top, we are into November. And November means a couple things. It means we can start actually, we can actually mow one more time before the winter hits it, sets in. I wonder if because I was parking this tanker on top of the trigger, maybe that was causing the milk not to spawn. That doesn't make sense, but I want to leave the, the thing right there. Hmm. All right. And we've already fed our pigs and fed our, our chickens. Um, the one thing I don't like about this chicken facility, and I think I've had this problem before, but I didn't remember, is that it doesn't actually store enough food to make it through a month. So you have to feed them like at midnight before going to the next month, and then it might have enough food. It just doesn't have enough food storage. I might have to go in and fix that. For now, we have to talk about one more production, and then we have a ton of harvesting to do. So let's go get our little truck. Smokey truck. The black smoke coming out. <laughs> All right. I don't think we actually need to go in this entrance, <laughs> but we are anyways. <laughs> anyways, so we're growing strawberries here, and we had to set the strawberries. Did I remember to do that? I think I did. Come here. So strawberries are here. They're turned off because it's waiting for water. The water should get there any, any minute. Um, but we're setting to storing instead of delivering. It was actually delivering them to the wrong place. So it wasn't working out for us. Um, and over here to our coffee, um, our numbers were 50, right? So we have to load. We have to take 50,000 liters of coffee over to our facility before we sell it. And I can't believe that I didn't put my stacking pallet mod on here yet. <laughs> what was I thinking? Looks like we're having some camera targeting issues. It's okay. And we're full. If anyone knows how to fix this uh, bed, I think it's the bed and not the truck of getting all that weird 
offset, like, it gets too much, like, gravity. Like, it's, it's, physics are set up weird, and it's causing this truck to be almost undrivable when it has a full load. No, don't, ugh, really? Net reminder to self, don't drive over the multi-fruit trigger, multi-fruit trigger with coffee. Making it so hard to drive. That. All right, well, let's deliver some coffee. That's thirty thousand liters of coffee delivered. It's weird. Pallets are gone, but it's taken a while for the game to catch up. It still says there's ten thousand liters of coffee. That was super weird. Anyways, we'll get this truck over, and fill it up, and let him fill up again. Um, hopefully I can figure out that physics issue with this trailer. I kind of don't want it to have that, that weird shaking left to right physics. Um, I know it's kind of realistic, but at the same time, I'm not really playing realistic in this playthrough, so whatever. Anyways, we'll leave this truck here. We'll let him fill up. And we'll tab over to our next thing. So the next thing we're going to do is up here. We're at the top of the map. Now, the one thing we haven't done yet is we have we did a bunch of work. We own most of the map, actually. And we have enough money to buy the rest of the map. So we're going to go ahead and buy the rest of the map. So one of our goals for one of the challenges, I forget which one, was the land domination challenge, which I think is one of the, the multiple challenges we're doing. But as you can see... We're three months in, in November, and we now own the entire map. So owning the map in Split Mountain Ranch is not hard. Just cut down a few trees. <laughs> um, we also, up here in this area over here, in this farmland area right here in 32, we cut down some more of these trees. We cut down this forest right here last time. In between episodes, I cut down this area too, just to kind of keep us moving forward and give us that last bit of money. Um, but what we're going to do now is get this harvest. Harvest started. That was a weird glitch. Whoa. I just like almost chopped my head off with those that header. We've rented a sunflower header for just for the day. And we're gonna harvest these sunflowers. Sunflowers with the extended straw crop mod produce an obscene amount of straw. So if you ever wanted straw and to make an arm and a leg off of straw, plant sunflowers and use that mod. Seriously. Look at that. That's insane. Luckily, I'm driving a tank, so I don't ever really get like, caught up by that. But I could see how it might be an issue for someone driving a normal harvest. Because those are some crazy let's just hire a regular worker let him do his thing he'll have fun we're gonna go to our next thing because we have lots to do over at this field we have sugar beets and we have the last field of sugar beets to harvest and so we're gonna jump in this harvester turn it on extend it out get it going And we'll go the long way. And again, because of square fields on this map, which are really awesome, that means that we can hire normal workers. We don't have to deal with horseplay. We don't have to deal with any of that stuff. We do sometimes, but right here. Three, two, one, go. You go ahead, harvest with the worker, have fun. Now, because I'm doing a worker and I'm going in that direction, I have to move my truck, which is now in the wrong place. And come over here. Now, he's going to be full soon. I'm going to have to come get him. That's fine. No big deal. We're going to be in the area. Whew. So much to do. Next up, <laughs> we're going to jump over to this truck. And we're in this truck here because we're going to be collecting bales and doing some mowing. Now we have lots of mowing to do. 
So, and I started out from here last time. And I think I'm going to do the same thing this time. I'm going to start right here at the fence. So I'm going to loop this guy around right here. And we're going to get out, change it to auto load. Make sure this is set to auto load bales. Customize, yes. We're going to run over. Get our epic mowing set up. Unfold everything. Get to zoom out to see it. Unfolding the mower, unfolding the baler. Again, we're gonna do a little loop de loo so we can start off right against the fence. And that's, we're good. Oops, stuck behind the mower head. And then this is the setup and this, this makes the mowing easy. It just keeps going and going. And I can just drive around forever mowing. Uh, I have to do it myself because this is meadow. We're gonna do follow me, offset 2.5 to the side, to the back 30. That's my goal. Let him follow. Oops, jump in the mower and we're off. Make sure the baler's down. And here we go. And we're mowing. And as the baler drops bales, the truck will pick them up. Oh, I didn't put him into loading mode, did I? There's a little bit of setup to get this thing going. <laughs> Let's make sure he's in operating position. B. So back in follow mode. And then we're going to go around and do some mowing. While those other things are happening, I'm going to do some mowing. So let's jump into the kind of time lapse y thing and I'll show you some, most, all of the mowing as I just kind of make up random patterns to mow and mow everything. So all of this meadow everywhere is going to get mowed uh, on the north part of the map. And since we cut down a couple forests, there's actually more meadow to, to mow this time than last time. So it'll actually, um, we'll produce more bales, uh, which means more silage, which means more silage. And I think we might just go straight across this field considering we own it go straight up to this north side of the map and do a big, long pass. If that makes sense. All right, I'm going to shut up and throw on the music, and I will catch you guys in a minute. Peace.
Jumping back in for a minute here, you can kind of see where we are now. We're in this northern forest area, just north of the grain mill. And <laughs> yeah, we've cleared it out. Uh, we cleared out all the trees here. Made a million dollars with this forest and a million dollars with the forest in the corner. Just selling the logs straight up. Um, nothing fancy. Oh, I think I get getting caught up by the road. It's like catching the the mower. And then we spent a, a good amount of that money that we just got from selling all those trees to flatten these hills out. Now they're not completely flat. The hills are still obviously there, but they're mellowed out a lot so that it's much easier to mow uh, because that's what the goal is right now is just to mow them. Now we'll probably leave most of them as, as meadow. Um, like we have more grass than we know what to do with. We have more money than we know what to do with. So we'll probably leave them mostly alone. I might go in here and just for fun, because we're here and because we can, I might make a couple of really, really big fields up here. Like uh, just basically take the road network that's there and kind of make fields around the roads and then use some of this forest land, maybe flatten it out some more. Maybe go around it, who knows, but make some really big fields that um, just for the hell of it. Uh, <laughs> Because why not? We're here. We're going on the map for at least another couple months. Uh, we want the pigs to be at least uh, to have been on the map for at least six months before we're selling them. So to do that, we do need to be here for six months, which means sticking around and waiting that six months. And I can't ever stay still. I got to keep moving. So all of these fields here, as soon as they're harvested, we might go ahead and merge them all into one big gigantic field or two or three depending on how the roads end up getting laid out and um, having a lot less meadow but just for fun whether we use it for anything or not doesn't necessarily matter the breakfast challenge will be done soon um, we're actually up pretty much already going with that so it is what it is it's just fun right we're just having a grand old time uh, kind of experiencing this map for everything that it gives us, right? Which is, in all honesty... Whoa! Hey there, buddy. A lot of grass. <laughs> a lot of grass. And a lot of silage. And a harvester that's blocking our path. That's okay, we'll go around. We'll just go over here. <laughs> this is this can be mowed too. I think actually what it's catching is every time it hits a road segment, like where the two pieces of road connect, it's kind of catching that as a lip and then being weird. I think that's what's happening. Anyways, I'll shut up. I'll be back. Gonna keep on mowing on. <laughs>
back onto our mowing. We're going to try to finish off these couple headlands. And we're going to see how long it takes. I don't know how long it's going to take. It could take a while. I'm not going to make you sit through all of it. Even in a time lapse speed, it's probably going to take a couple hours real lifetime. It's a lot of mowing, a lot of grass. But what we are going to do is keep a little bit of a running tally. Uh, I got a little spread. Uh, a pad of paper next to me and I'm going to keep a tally of every time I unload that trailer. Now the trailer behind me that's following along picking up the bales can take 42 bales. 42 bales times 6,500 liters is a lot. Um, whatever that number is, 256,000 liters, something like that. I don't know. I'm not, I'm just, that's general math. Let's see how close I was. Um, each time we unload it. So we've done it twice so far. So that's roughly half a million liters, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and we'll keep a track tally of how many times we actually unload that trailer. Um, it'll be fun to see how much grass we can get on this part of Smith Bond Ranch on the upper side above the river. Now, of course, looking at the map, this area above the river right here, which is what we're doing, is almost the same size, maybe a little bit smaller, but I think there's more open area above the river. So it may be a smaller area, but it's more, more grass, more meadow. And of course, this is just meadow. I didn't fertilize it, didn't do anything else other than just cut it. Um, and so I'll cut it twice now. <laughs> and in all honesty, if you're playing this map, you'd be remiss not to just mow everything, collect it all, find some kind of quick way of collecting it like I am here, and process it all into silage. Even if you just mow it straight up and sell it as hay or grass, you're still going to be making a ridiculous amount of money. And it's all free. I mean, it comes with a map. It's part of your start. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy anything. Um, and then, of course, cut down all the extra stray trees. Every single one of those trees is money in the bank. Um, and it allows, allowed me, <laughs> and will allow you to kind of get a jump start on your playthrough. I'm going to go this way around the fence. Over here. Over here. <laughs> totally haphazardly mowing this place. I'm just kind of going around things, <laughs> not following any logical pattern or path, just mowing, this fun of mowing, which is actually for me fun. And it'll be fun to see how much we get, but check back in a few minutes. I'll jump back in when I'm done. It'll probably be on right now. It's, you know, kind of early morning. It'll probably be late in the afternoon once I'm done, but we'll check it out once I'm done and um, see how many bales actually not. So I'll check back with you in just a minute. You know, I don't know if I'm going to do that again. <laughs> I finally finished mowing, and in all honesty, um, we're it, I had to set the time at 3 point f or 0 0.5 just to be able to get it done. I ended up mowing everything. What I mean by everything is pretty much the entire map. Top area, bottom area, everything. I think we got a total of last count, I think 28, is that right? I will let my notes. 27 full loads of grass bales. Uh, that's 27 times 42 times 6,500, whatever that number is, I don't know, I'll put it on the screen. Um, that's a lot of grass. I even put down an extra, like you can kind of see it over here, see that fermenting silo right there in the middle? We even put down another fermenting silo because I got tired of driving to the other side of the map. So we have three fermenting silos going right now. And as you can see, this is all fresh cut meadow. I've mowed everything. Um, and which is way outside the bounds of what we need for the challenge. But I kind of got into the rhythm, kind of enjoyed what I was doing. And I figured, you know, it's November. We're not going to be able to mow again until the spring. So... Why not? <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe a big mistake. I don't know. Um, 
We're one bale away from being full. Grab one more bale and head up and deliver this. But that's going to be it. Um, I have to finish picking up these straw bales, which are also getting converted into silage. Um, and before we end, actually, we have one more problem to deal with. And this is actually a real big problem considering the challenge. Um, one of the big problems... I'm going to leave this here and we'll do that off screen. Let's quickly run over to our production area, um, which is base, the base... Wrong way over this hill. The base of what we're doing for this challenge. Now, to make donuts and pancakes, we need milk. Right, so we we put down a cow shed, a cow shed that was initially working, but as you can see, it's not working anymore. I mean, we have it's full on food, animals are at 100% health. Um, we've got manure coming out of our ears, but no milk, which is really unfortunate because we need that milk. And I thought when I kind of I tried to trick the system by editing the save game file and kind of putting some milk in there to see if it would generate more. It didn't. So what we're going to do is I've taken a screenshot. We have 60 cows here. Um, we're going to delete this and can I just delete it with the cow still in there? I don't know if I can. Let's find out. Instruction. No, I can't. I think I have to empty the cows. So we're going to sell the cows and then buy new cows, which sucks, but it is what it is. Sell. Yes. Construction, sell, yes. So that, that cow barn is no longer, uh, it wasn't working for us in all honesty. And sell the street lamps we put down to add some lighting. We'll leave this here because I think actually that's an extension so it's not going to work anymore. Sell. <laughs> all right, so now we have to put down something new. I downloaded a few things, but I really don't know. All we need is cows. We need cows. We need them to deliver milk. There's this, which is gigantic. Um, and this has slurry and milk for sure. Um, this is the Lancy Boys one. I could put it over here. I'd have to get rid of that tree. Put it over there. Um, you also have this one, which has a big field to go with it. This one, which doesn't have a big field to go with it, this one actually might work. It sticks out into the R area a little bit more than I like, but this one would fit here. Oh, you know what? I just looked this up. This is the enclosed cow barn. Oh, this one does have milk. See, there's a milk thing trigger just inside. Um, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. Let me think about it. Let me place it down. I'll get right back to you. We're back. Uh, I. It took a little while to figure out and finagle. No big deal. Um, we replaced the cow shed we had with this one. The old one had 60 cows in it. This one now has 120. I think it has space for 120. Um, hopefully this one works a little bit better. Uh, I actually like the look of it better. It was just bigger than the space that I really wanted to use. Um, this one's pretty nice. It does require water, which is a little bit of a downside. Um, and it doesn't take very much, but whatever, we're not going to be on this map for very long. And we added back in our slurry extension. So, and hopefully this one's still close enough to the manure heap extension over there so that we can manure to spawn over there. Um, and we'll see what happens. It, obviously, if we look right now, it doesn't have any milk yet. We put back in the things that it needed, water, milk, food, straw. Uh, hopefully we'll get some slurry manure shortly. Um, or by tomorrow. But that's it. We still have some straw to put away. Um, we have some pig food to do something with. I don't know what. And we still have to move the coffee over. So we did actually meet our goal. Or we have enough to meet our goal. For the coffee. Um, but the coffee pallets here are a little bit weird. Because I drove over the pickup trigger. So I might pull all of those, all of those out. Sell them. And put in full-size pellets so it's really easy to see which we have but other than that that's gonna be it for me today this is that's it for this 
episode. I want to say thank you to everyone for watching. Thanks for coming along for this kind of weird, crazy speed run journey thing. I don't know. I love running through these kind of challenges as fast as possible. And of course, we're in November. We're three months in and we're we on the whole map. And <laughs> we're pretty much ready to finish off this challenge. As soon as those pigs hit six months, I think the challenge is going to be mostly done as long as we can get eggs and milk in time. But we'll see what happens. And we'll see what happens as we move forward. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know what you think about my super fast speed run of this challenge. And hopefully we can get some more episodes out to you as soon as possible. But as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.